go. Bingo. Bingo. Hey. Guys, look at the St. Louis Arch. Whoa, that's huge. Yeah, it is. That thing is big. What's up everybody? We made it to my hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. It was a long rainy drive to get here in the RV from Bentonville, but we're here now. I'm gonna show the kids around this skate park, which is where I took my racing skills and turned them into more free ride skills and had a lot of fun here as well. And then we're gonna ride one of my favorite local riding spots with roots and rocks and stuff that helped me become a more technical rider. And I'm also gonna introduce you to a couple friends of mine who are artists and are making a great living doing exactly what they want. On the Bentonville episode, I introduced the kids to a bunch of art that they could ride, which was a cool way to interact with art. And here, I'm gonna show them how they can take their passions and make a career out of it. The same way that I've done with riding bikes, my friends have done with art. We don't have our dirt jump bikes or BMX, we just have our trail bikes, but we're still gonna have a lot of fun pumping around. There's a lot of big bowls, the full pipe, stuff like that that we can still have a blast on these bikes on. So let's get started. What do you think about this skate park, Milo? It's pretty big. Yeah. It's so much bigger than our local skate park. It is, I spent a lot of time here growing up. Really? Yeah. You got some lines figured out? Yeah. You want me to follow you? Sure. Nice, Milo. I cleared the big one. You cleared the big one? Is it scary? No. Nice, Owen. You did clear the big one. This bowl is new since I lived here. It's super fun, like snake run. Pumpable corners. Rad. Let's go check out the full pipe. Since I moved, they changed the skate park a bit, and there's this new kind of channel gap, bowl corner over the full pipe thing. And I've been eyeing it up. It's gonna be a little weird on the full suspension, but it looks too good to pass up. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give it a go. I think it should work out perfect, but it's kind of scary. It's kind of a mind trick, so see how it works. That is so fun. You have this weightless moment where you start to lose speed and you're kind of floating over the top a little bit. And you're like, I hope I have enough to carry me to the other side. It's always gonna do something that scares you every now and then. All right, let's go visit my friend Brad, check out his sweet letterpress shop, and then we'll go ride Cherokee Park. How's it going, Brad? Going great. So good to see you. Yeah, so Brad has a letterpress studio here in Louisville, Kentucky, and he's creating show posters and art for all kinds of different people. How'd you get into letterpress and creating your own way of making a living? I uh, studied graphic design and printmaking at Western Kentucky University, where I went to school with Eric. And uh, through that, I discovered letterpress printing, which is um, sort of the antique style of printing. I think it was pretty amazing that when we grew up together, you know, you loved riding bikes and, and I loved riding too. And we both shared that passion, but uh, as I continued to, uh, to study graphic design and to study art, I shifted my passion towards making things and really felt that, you know, if I could put all of my time and all of my energy into doing what I loved, that I could ultimately make a living from doing that stuff. And, uh, you know, it wasn't easy. I didn't make money for a long time and I really struggled, but I followed these things that I really wanted to do. and through that have found a career in doing exactly what I want. These days I'm working for uh, all kinds of amazing artists. Um, some of my favorites are uh, Chris Stapleton, Jason Isbell, 
It's kind of a dream, getting to work with people who love doing what they do. That's awesome. You wanna show the kids how to print something? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. This press is probably from about the um, mid 1960s, but one of the presses that I use in the shop on a pretty consistent basis is from the 1890s. Is that cool, Milo? Yeah. And then this will drop that roller. So. so. You just good. made that. <laughs> you know who said that quote, Milo? Who? Muhammad Ali. Louisville native. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Got it. Nice and strong. Keep on going. Keep on going. Go yeah. What do you think about letterpress, Milo? <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's cool to make things with your hands, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks for the tour, Brad. Yeah, it's so great to see you and the family. We'll see you next time. You guys excited to ride the trails I grew up riding? Yeah. Okay, so we are in Cherokee Park now. These are the trails we'd ride every night after work. You can ride to these trails from my house and from the bike shop. So they're super convenient and here for everybody in the city to use, which is awesome. And lots of roots and rocks and fun technical stuff. I know Milo loves the technical stuff. What about you, Owen? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> the downhills aren't as long as in Utah, but they're really fun and playful. Who wants to take the lead? Me. Oh, looks like Owen won. I'm going first. I'd rather go down the roots than go up. It's a little bit easier, isn't it? Yeah. Leaves are so fun to slide around in. Okay, just up ahead, there's gonna be a wall. You guys will split right and I'm gonna drop off it, okay? Nice. Nice, that was a tech section. Isn't it pretty in here, guys? I think it's really cool that we're right in the city. I wish more cities had parks like this that you could ride from people's houses. Yeah, Owen. You got the rock climb too, nice work, buddy. Owen, your techie climbing is taking off. Yeah. That's how I learned to ride roots and rocks was places like this. Like this yeah. exact trails. Should we go to my friend Gerald's art studio? It's super cool. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So we're in my friend Gerald's studio now. He's an artist and we grew up riding together. Oh wait, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> Should yeah. I look at my driver's license so I can remember my name? How do you make a living as an artist? Uh, wait, I'm supposed to make a living at this? <laughs> uh, my name is Gerald Tidwell. I'm an artist. I've been a professional artist since 1988. Um, I guess Eric and I met in probably 99 or so and um, of course put my hands and art career in jeopardy daily riding bicycles, which was worth it, it was so much fun. I wasn't pro level bicycle rider and I'm not you know, nearly as pretty in real life as I look on here right now. But, uh, <laughs> so I couldn't be a male supermodel. But uh, no, it was just one of those things, it's like it's all I've ever done since I was a little kid is draw pictures and ride bikes and I was like, I want it to be one of these things and I, you know, I'm honest with myself so I realized that being a pro biker wasn't gonna work. And I was like, well, I'll just keep doing art because I was doing that already anyhow. And um, now I've published uh, 16 art books and thousands of designs and hundreds of rock posters and things like that. And it's just super cool. I still don't feel special about any of this stuff. I actually just feel incredibly lucky because you know, it's just a job, so that makes it really awesome that I get to have such a cool job. Having a long art career, I've been really incredibly lucky, and um, 
you know, so I wanted to share that because I know there are like so many young people who have no idea that you can actually make a living as an artist or like you riding a bike or something. I was the kid that just drew all the time too and everyone told me, yeah, that's cool, but you're gonna have to have a real job. It's like, no, that can be a real job. If you are willing to put in the work, you can really do something cool with your, your art or whatever it is, your cool thing that you like to do. I literally draw pictures for a living and I have an amazing, beautiful life. and. Um, an opportunity to actually give back to other people by doing that, which is still blows my mind. Speaking of giving back, you're making something special for me right now, right? Yeah, obviously looking at everything that you do, I'm like, man, he needs some fun logos and t-shirts and stuff because I want one. Like I want a Porter MTV shirt and damn it, if I have to draw it to get one, I'm gonna do it. And so yeah, we started working on some logo ideas, threw down a bunch of sketches, we kind of distilled those down to this will be our first offering and then it's going to actually have the mountain range from basically the view from your house in this section. Um, obviously you're a crazy lumberjack always using a chainsaw so we want to put that in there. Hopefully if I can um, get this thing knocked out we'll have some really cool shirts to wear. Maybe even a hoodie since winter's coming. I love hoodies man even when it's not winter time. Seems like a good place to raise a child. Dude, this kid has no idea how much fun he gets to have. We had a great time making this video and hopefully my friend's stories will help inspire some of you to chase your dreams and see where they take you. The next video in our RV road trip series is the one you've all been waiting for, Burn Peak. We go to visit Seth and we have an awesome time. I know you're gonna love the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not so you don't miss it. And now for the really exciting news. That logo you saw Gerald working on just a minute ago in this video, here it is. We got shirts, we got hoodies, kids shirts and hoodies, and women's shirts. We didn't wanna leave anybody out. And we got stickers as well, and a sticker comes with each item that you get. I put a link in the description so you can check out the full line, see what works for you, and we'll do our best to get it out to you before Christmas. So order quick, because you don't wanna miss out. I can't thank you guys enough for the support you've given this channel and watching these videos that we're making. We're having a blast doing it. And it's just so awesome to see how it's inspiring everybody to build jumps in their yard, to go riding more, and just have a good time with their family and make the most of their life. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you at Burn Peak in the next video.